Good morning, folks. We've got an eclipse to discuss, space weather, extreme Earth weather, planetary alignments, and a new gravity map for Mars. We'll begin on the southeastern limb, the incoming southern quadrant. Filament barrel rolling out of the corona there. These guys simply will not come at Earth. The filaments either release right here or just past the western limb departing over on the right side. Even with this one going, we still have a large plasma structure incoming behind it. Not that we expect it to make it to Earth, but it's got about three or four days until it does, if it does. Got some coronal rain here at the solar equator. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and check in on 193 angstroms of our star. You can see numerous surface pops and surges, but one of them late last night may have actually set a CME at Earth in the solar wind from near center disk. We'll watch it three times here, zooming in. Of course, the solar flaring remains dismal, so that CME potential is even more surprising. The sunspots are large, but without any company. They are spread, and there's no magnetic mixing. This could all change, of course, as the planets are set to play a role soon. Times are calm now, but we're just 36 hours away from a four-way alignment of the spheres. Mercury is coming in to conjoin the sun here, but also the full moon will be eclipsed tomorrow morning making a four-way lineup significant for Earth and Sun. It won't be visible for Europe and Africa, but Americans can see the penumbral event before sunrise Wednesday, Australia and New Zealand being able to watch tomorrow night as the moon rises. Right now, we're awaiting the solar wind stream from the departing northern coronal hole upright. A small CME may have released behind it as you saw, and after that, the trailing portion of the coronal hole will swing in to face Earth from the left. That is a lot of potential for such a quiet star, but alas, while we wait, the solar wind remains calm. Slight density and speed bumps this morning may actually be the beginning of those speedy streams, however, and that's our top watch today for coronal hole impact in the solar wind and any geomagnetic effects it might have. We've got the latest from Goddard SVS here. We'll be discussing this more soon on the website, I believe, but for now you can check out free air gravity, crustal thickness, topography, and more. It's the latest from the constellation of Mars orbiting satellites. Coming back down to Earth, top weather emergency right now is in Pakistan where enough rain came down to kill dozens of people, remove way too many from their homes, and then in a cruel twist of fate, they shattered cold record temperatures. Feet of snow are down in some areas, and in general, they have no idea what to do. We've got the rest of your pressure and radar forecasts and shots of our star to close. Severe weather returns to the southern United States tomorrow. Italy needs to watch that Mediterranean low tonight. New Zealand, twin Earth spots on its doorstep as well. It's 4.30 a.m. here in the desert. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.